Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This just in, Niantic has announced the rescheduled dates for Safari Zone, Liverpool, Philadelphia, and St. Louis. For those who live in the UK and in the city of Liverpool, it's been rescheduled for the weekend of October 15th and ends on Sunday, October 17th. And of course, for my hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the weekend of Halloween, which would be the weekend of October 29th to Sunday, October 31st. And then lastly, Safari Zone St. Louis. Your event has been rescheduled for November 12th to November 14th. And of course, those who go to Philadelphia Safari Zone, including myself, will have a snapshot surprise encounter. But the Pokemon that will be featured in this encounter as of this recording, unknown. And of course, the City Explorer Pass has been removed. So you will definitely be getting a refund from Niantic starting October 2nd. In other Pokemon news, the Season of Mischief event has begun. And the special research involving Hoopla is live, but only one step is available. The other steps will come down the road. Also, Pokemon such as Inkei and its evolution Malmar are coming to the game. And three other Kalos Pokemon, including Furfru, have been teased in the loading screen, which means Furfru and that po Pokemon, that Ghost and Grass type, will be coming to the game, possibly around Halloween. And possibly, who knows, we might even see Punkaboo and Gorgeist coming as well, but those Pokemon haven't been teased or announced as of this recording. As for the seasonal Pokemon, here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're getting the autumn form of Deerling. For the Southern Hemisphere, it's the spring form. And of course, those living in the Southern Hemisphere will be getting the Unova starters. Snivy, T-Pig, and Oshawott, which of course, Oshawott Community Day is coming up later this month. And for us here in the Northern Hemisphere, the Johto starters, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. And of course, the update from the, from the committee that Niantic has put together, the increased distance ratio for gyms and Pokestops that was increased, it's permanent. They confirmed that that is not going away, but they also have put in new bonuses as a result of the Season of Mischief, and of course, bonuses that are no longer available include getting two free passes from gyms to do raids each day. So you're back to one pass per day. Unless you got a pass from a previous day and you didn't spin it and then you spin the gym and you get another one. Otherwise, it's gone. And of course, I forgot to mention this last week in the last video that in the Pokemon Presents video, support in Pokemon Home for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as well as 
Legends Arceus will be coming to Pokemon Home in 2022, which is something I had been speculating and predicting that would likely happen. This is just a coincidence I made these predictions. I'm not a prophet, I can't predict the future, but it was just a prediction I just happened to get correct, just like with Oshawott Community Day. One more thing. I'm going to be also releasing a new episode of Autism Talk, which will focus on a review of the Disney short film, Loop. And of course, during my live stream of Lugia Raid Hour, it seems that it's gotten popular with me. Because if anyone wants to catch me whenever I'm streaming, and doing a raid, possibly, in the future. Be sure to visit me at twitch.tv yeah, twitch slash lewadventures. And I would be streaming Wednesday nights at 6. If you want to join me then, and you're, and you're in the chat, feel free to post the code. Your friendship code, I mean. And we can raid. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in indoor settings. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe. Stay healthy and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.